This is Ashley with Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 One Piece movies. For this list, we'll be looking at the Straw Hat's best feature length adventures. Which One Piece movie is a treasure? Let us know in the comments. And as always, you can catch me on Twitter at AshJBow, so head over there, give me a follow, and let me know which One Piece list you want to see next. Number 10 One Piece Movie The Desert Princess and the Pirates Adventures in Alabasta. With more than 20 years of content, One Piece has occasionally condensed arcs into more digestible TV specials, such as 2012's episode of Nami. The Desert Princess and the Pirates Adventures in Alabaster took things one step further by squashing the Alabaster arc into just 90 minutes. <laughs> The film gives a theatrical shine to one of the anime's best arcs, but while the movie is suitably bombastic and fun, this is one project that does not stand on its own. Desert Princess moves at such a blistering pace, it feels similar to one of those recaps at the beginning of an episode. Number 9. One Piece – Chopper's Kingdom on the Island of Strange Animals The third movie in the franchise, Chopper's Adventure over here focuses on the Straw Hat's titular resident doctor. After arriving on the visually pleasing Crown Island, Chopper dives off a cliff and somehow becomes the ruler of a kingdom. <laughs> Chopper's inherent likability goes a long way into injecting charm into this too short film it feels more like an extended episode with some prettier animation than a proper theatrical release. <laughs> Forgettable as Island of Strange Animals might be, it earns points for being one of the rare instances where Chopper is allowed to take the lead for a few stretches. <laughs> Number 8. One Piece – The Giant Mechanical Soldier of Karakuri Castle The Straw Hats do not spend enough time hunting for treasure, but the seventh movie attempts to rectify that. <laughs> Things eventually escalate to big bad proportions, but Giant Mecha Soldier of Karakuri Castle dedicates the majority of its runtime to the Straw Hats trying to figure out puzzles to find a golden crown. Various characters are given plenty to do, especially Robin and Chopper, and the soundtrack is great, especially during Luffy's fight with Ratchet. Even if it is not the most gripping of storylines, the whole thing serves as a testament to just how fun it is to watch the Straw Hats strut their stuff. Number 7 One Piece The Cursed Holy Sword As most One Piece movies are non-canon, they cannot shake up the status quo all that much, but that does not mean they have to be superficial. <laughs> The flick dives into Zoro's past through the main antagonist, Saga, who takes a turn to the dark side after locating the Seven Star Sword. Along with being bloodier than One Piece's usual fare, the Cursed Holy Sword benefits from Zoro taking center stage, leading to a handful of entertaining fight scenes. <laughs> The setting, Asuka Island, is also a highlight, especially once the red full moon sets in. Number 6 One Piece the Movie – Dead End Adventure The first One Piece movie to truly deliver, Dead End Adventure is exciting, fun, and packed with great action. The Straw Hats stumble their way into a race featuring some rather dangerous teams, including a pirate who used to be a marine. A premise like this could get by without much in the way of plot, but it introduces plenty of memorable secondary characters who bounce off well with the Straw Hats. <laughs> Jack 
General Gaspard is especially entertaining and ranks as one of the best villains from a One Piece movie to date. <laughs> Number 5 One Piece Baron Omatsuri and the Secret Island Directed by Mamoru Hosoda of Wolf Children and Summer Wars fame, this is by far the most unique direction One Piece has taken theatrically. As the Straw Hats head to Omatsuri Island, Luffy agrees to take part in a series of games against its owner, which start fun enough but eventually take a turn for the strange. Baron Omatsuri and the Secret Island instantly separates itself from the crowd with a looser art style, and while the characters are true to themselves, the film is not afraid to challenge the Straw Hats' relationships. Don't be fooled by the poster, this is a somber film that knows how to raise the tension. Number 4 One Piece Film – Gold Set in a casino-themed ship, this film fittingly revels in all the excess you can imagine. Gold Splash! Be it the frantic pacing or overstimulating visuals, Gold is One Piece at its most unapologetic, and that extends to the storyline. Grand Tessero is another seemingly happy paradise that is secretly under the thumb of its money-hungry ruler, something the Straw Hats learn firsthand after losing a bet. <laughs> Although still primarily a light-hearted adventure that is heavy on slapstick and action, Gold does explore themes of greed and inequality, adding an element of depth that complements its extravagant set pieces. <laughs> Number 3 – One Piece Stampede As One Piece has splintered to accommodate for a roster of hundreds of characters, the movies have served as a way to see the Straw Hats as a unit. Taking place on a festival island and revolving around a treasure hidden by Gold Roger, Stampede feels like a celebration of everything that is One Piece, and it does not sacrifice a satisfying storyline to make room for endless callbacks. Stampede is a film for the fans, one stuffed with countless beloved characters, exhilarating fights, and quintessential One Piece shonen villains. Yo-ho indeed. <laughs> Number 2 One Piece Film Z At its best, One Piece combines fun action and plenty of humor with sympathetic characters, ideological battles, and an irresistible sense of adventure. Film Z manages to include everything great about the main series, including a villain with an intense presence and a tragic backstory. The titular Z is a former admiral hell-bent on destroying all pirates, regardless of the casualties, and stands against Luffy's dream to become the Pirate King. <laughs> Film Z is one of the few One Piece movies with enough substance to feasibly be expanded into a proper arc, yet even with a limited runtime delivered on a beautifully balanced experience. <laughs> Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1 One Piece Film Strong World Supervised by Ichiro Oda himself, Strong World is the closest thing to a canon One Piece movie, even though it still does its own thing. Hananda. After kidnapping Nami, Gold Lion Shiki separates the Straw Hats and sparks an excellent romp featuring massive animals, the East Blue, and floating islands. Strong World is One Piece at its most stylish, 
and brings to the plate all the quirky banter and eccentric humor associated with Oda's magnum opus. <laughs> These straw hats have also never looked cooler than Strongworld's final act, ending this adventure on an incredibly gratifying note, unless you're Shiki, of course. <laughs> you agree with our picks, check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.